One of the many nice new features in Filmic Pro V6 is the content management system, which allows you to control how your clips are labeled, and this can be a big help when you enter post-production. If you tap to open the Filmic library and take a look at any of your recorded clips, you'll see that they're all labeled with Filmic Pro's default naming structure, which is actually very informative. The first string of numbers represents the date your clip was recorded on. For example, 03-26-2017 tells you it was recorded on March 26, 2017. The next string of numbers indicate what time it was recorded, and for this clip, it was recorded at 12.09 and 40 seconds. This file name structure is great if you want to create a film based on time of shooting, and also gives you a logical way of renaming your clips in your editor of choice, whether that be Final Cut, Premiere Pro, or LumaFusion on iOS. However, for any production that's based on scenes and takes, using Filmic Pro's content management system is the way to go. Tap to open settings, then tap CMS, and turn it on. Now you can specify a production name by tapping on it, and this will be a constant for all clips and won't change unless you manually modify it. Tap outside of the keyboard to accept and close. Next you can enter your scene number, and if you don't enter anything here, it will default to scene 1A, but I'll tap and enter 2A because I completed scene 1 yesterday, then tap outside to close and accept. The scene value, like the production name, is constant and will not automatically change. If you want to move on to scene 1B or any other value, you'll need to manually update it here. Lastly is the take value, and unlike production and scene, this will automatically update incrementally with each new recording, and by default always begins at 1, which I'll leave for now, but you can enter whatever take you like manually. Once set, tap outside to close and start a recording. I'll stop as I wasn't quite happy with the performance. Cut. Give the actor some much needed direction. That was f pathetic, let's go again. And restart my recording. This time my talent was a little less plastic, so I'm happy with the shot and I'll tap to end the recording. Now if I open the Filmic library, you can see that my clips have inherited the CMS settings and I have a take 1 and take 2. Another really cool feature is the ability to tap the star in the thumbnail to favorite a clip. And what's so cool about this is that when you import your Filmic media onto a computer, the star is inserted as an emoji, instantly allowing you to see your best takes. If you're unsure how to transfer your files from Filmic Pro to your computer, watch episode 11. This simple action can save a huge amount of time in post-production and I hope you found it helpful. If you have any questions, please ask in the comments and check back next week for a new Filmic Pro V6 tutorial.